What's going on, drivers? It's Jay Rich back again. It's Friday. It's time to go the hell home. But I'm gonna knock this little video out for you real quick. I've gotten a few, a uh, few of you have asked me uh, to show the process of how I dump my trailer. Now, my process might be different from your process, depending on what you're hauling. If you're doing rock, sand, gravel, stuff like that, you're you're gonna be a little different than the way I do things. At least the way I see most of you do things. So, I'm gonna try to go start to finish show you my whole process and the way you should properly dump one of these trailers so stay with me we're coming right back show you how it's done all right for the sake of this video we're going to say that this is where the scrap goes we're out here on the yard i ain't got much else going on so figured i'd bust this out while there ain't nobody here and i got plenty of room to do this first off you want to make sure that your trailer is level the ground's as flat as can be. You're not parked in a hole to where when you start to move and that trailer's way up here in the air, that it's not gonna upset this trailer and turn the damn thing over. Next thing, your tractor and your trailer are as straight as possible. Now your tractor can be turned out a little bit this way, a little bit the other way, but you cannot be jackknife. You cannot dump a frameless trailer jackknife. It does not work. Like I said, it can be turned one way or the other. And when that trailer's going up, your tractor's coming to you, you got the wheels turned to where that tractor is coming back straight with the trailer. That's how you want to do it. If somebody parks you in a hole or in some messed up area and this trailer is leaning, we can see this trailer straight. It's not leaning. This damn trailer leaning way over here, way over there, it's gonna be worse when it gets up in there. It's gonna be leaning way over. You turn the damn thing over, then you gotta make that phone call explaining why you turned that man's trailer over. If they won't park you in a hole, you tell them, man, I can't dump right here. You could try to back up a little bit. You try to pull forward a little bit, and move over left or right. Do not dump that trailer if you don't feel safe with it. That's the number one deal. This mud flap, this mud flap has to move to the center, okay? And I'm gonna show you why. Undo the safety chain, safety pin, and I, you gotta keep this pin if you have a style like this because this pin will jump out. So put it in your pocket. I always put it right here for safekeeping. Pull that pin out. And that lever, those retract. Now when you open up your door, if there's anything against this door, do not come back here and stand behind the door and open this son of a bitch up. Some shit will fall and crack your damn skull, okay? Always come back here and push it out, push that door open. Now I didn't flip that mud flap like I was supposed to, cause I'm gonna show you. See where this mud flap is in relation to your tire. When you dump, this end right here is gonna be right close to the ground. This mud flap is going to go underneath this tire. So, it's going to tear your whole shit off right there. So, before I open up the door, got to pull this pin out, turn this mud flap. A little tough one handed, guys, but hell, I'm working through it for you. Show you with the door closed. That's how your mud flap looks. I've even been sitting waiting in line and dump truck comes up. Hey man, you're missing a mud flap. So no I'm not. It's just flipped over the other way. So <laughs> but that's how it goes. You ever see see a truck with a mud flap looking like that? He's either about to dump out or he already dumped out and 
he forgot to flip it back over, which does happen. So we're open up a door back open. Chain hooks in there so your door don't fall. If you don't hook that damn chain, when you dump this damn thing, this door is coming down and it's going to hit the ground. And when it hits the ground, you're liable to take this mud flap off and bend this and tweak the whole damn door. All right, now you see where our mud flap's at? It's up here. So this mud flap's still going to be on the ground, but it's going to be up higher and out of the way. So we're in our spot. Now, let's say I back into a spot and I can't swing my door all the way open. What I can do, I'll back into the spot, open the door, and let it sit there. Then I'll pull the truck forward and then chain the door around the side. Because if something falls out the back, I want it to fall back here. I don't want it to fall way up there where I have to back back over or I have to sit there and stand underneath this load and move stuff out of the way. It's going up here to the truck and I'll show you what's going on up here. Oh, while I'm back here, let me show you. This trailer has spring suspension. This trailer does not have airbags. All four of these wheels are gonna stay on the ground when you dump it. There is no airbags on this trailer to dump like some of you other guys have. Now, why would you dump the airbags? You dump the airbags so the trailer settles down on the frame and it makes the trailer more stable. This trailer doesn't have that. All right, guys, we're back in the truck. Now, since the trailer does not have airbags, my tractor does. So I can dump the suspension on the tractor That'll set the frame down on the axles so that the truck itself is more stable. This spot right here, I feel fine with it the way it is. I got my trailer brakes applied, my tractor brakes off. So this is gonna pull the truck back to the trailer. Why do I wanna do that versus some of you other guys that have, that pull the trailer to the tractor? because most of the places I dump out are very unstable. There's holes, there's, there's whatever. So I want the trailer to stay stable, to stay still until I'm ready to move it. And the scrap necessarily doesn't come out like sand, rock, and gravel does. Just saying. So, with the airbags dumped, your trailer brakes applied, you can come down here, this makes the trailer go up or down. Right now it's in the neutral spot. That's forward, or, or that's up, and then back here is down. This switch here is for, for my tarp. Tarp in, tarp out. This turns the PTO on. This little yellow thing is there to keep you from sliding that forward while you're driving. So clutch in. Push the yellow thing down, flip that on, light comes on, your PTO is engaged. Push that forward, get a little bit of gas. Thousand RPMs is good. The trailer starts going up. You don't have to wind this thing up, no 1500 RPMs or 2000 RPMs. You don't have to do all that. Now usually for me right there, when I'm dumping scrap, the cylinder just hit the third stage. Usually, I'm good right there. If not, I can go up higher. All right. 
That's all the way up. Okay, now it's all the way up in the air. So now you need to walk away from the load that's trying to come out. What I do is I already kicked this into neutral. I'm going to hold my hand on this while I'm walking away from it. In case if something starts to happen, it starts to rock one way or the other, I can flip this and start letting it down quickly. So, go clutch in, foot on the brake, and come over here down to low gear. Push my trailer in. Okay, one hand's gonna be right here, and one hand's gonna be on the steering wheel if I wasn't holding this damn camera. I just start easing forward. It's easy forward. Most of the time, the load will push you away. That's why you keep one foot on the brake so you don't take off. If you take off and that trailer hits a damn hole, you're liable to turn it over. So now, I've walked away from the load. Of course, I would be going farther than what I have right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna start letting the trailer down. Now, you cannot hold your foot on the brake and let the trailer down at the same time. You can't do it because it's, it's the, you're gonna tear something up because your trailer brakes are applying and your tractor brakes are applying, one of them needs to be free. So, set my trailer brake because when I start letting the brakes out, or when I let this thing down, I want the tractor to move away. I don't want the trailer to move back towards the load. If I just set the tractor brake, the trailer is going to move back towards the load. I don't want it to move back towards the load. I want it to I want it to walk away from the load. So now I can jump out, go close my door, what have you. All right, guys, there it is. That's how I dump my trailer. That's the safe, proper way for a scrap trailer. Now you're saying the rock guys might be a little different. Do what works for you, but do it safely. As always, drivers, keep your knees in the breeze and shine your side up. We'll be seeing you.